the network. Oh, what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this is another episode of inside the network where we show you exclusive clips from conversations in brandmannetwork.com where we help artists move and navigate through their growth so this clip right here is youtube marketing we're talking about the special instance that so many people go through when they get a lot of views but there's very little engagement on their ads how do you solve for that well here's one trick that we talk through and you get to see how the conversation goes and so much of the back and forth goes in brand man network when we help you navigate your situation go ahead and get to it i'll chop it up with you at the end it's the network so i asked you about um youtube ads earlier this week and you have gave some good advice but um i, I went ahead with, like i said with the video i already tried to do before but then it got um uh, flag because for shocking content which is fine because uh they the only thing it has is um just a curse word and youtube doesn't accept that for obvious reasons mm -hmm. <laughs> so i went ahead and made a shorter ad but um so so it's just the chorus and it's only the part that i you know need to show because if i can't sh if they're not interested after that point then the song's not good at least in my opinion but i like the song so i'm hoping people like it. <laughs> um so anyways I'm thinking about like, should I upload it to my channel? Because it doesn't really, because YouTube lets me take videos from any channel. So my workaround is, I haven't done it yet because uh, they canceled my ad, so I just made it today. But I was waiting to get on the call and ask you before I did anything. So I have the ad, it's only like 25 seconds. Should I upload it to my channel and just like not worry about it? Because I want to keep my channel clean. <clears throat> you know, only my music. I don't want people to go and see like, oh, this guy's got a, you know, 25 second ad on here. Oh, well, it's not like people will notice it and pay attention, but like, it's something that's personal to me and I want to keep it like clean. And if at the end of the day it doesn't matter, I'll just do it. It doesn't matter. But I also All have right. it on another channel and I could just grab it from there and do it and have it link go back to my channel. You have that ad on another another channel? Yeah, I have it on another channel. So you're you're gonna use it on the other channel and you use the ad, but it's still going to run to your to your video. That's what you're doing already? Yeah, because it's the same video. I just cut off like a section of it to turn it into yeah. the ad. It doesn't really make a difference. You can do it that way. Oh, okay, cool. Because I was I was just wondering, like, you know, if it would somehow lead back to that, which is not what I'm trying to do. I want all the traffic to go to the channel I want it to. No, as long as the links lead to that video. I mean, you can also, um, you know, I've done several times where you can just leave the video unlisted or uh, or something like that, and then it just and then it leads. To the other video but you already have it on another channel that's cool and what i like about that method i don't typically i mean well you, you typically i have to use this if i have a, a song that's censored right and the, the one of the values of it though is when people go through right they're going clicking through for the song uh and your the views are a higher quality because what everybody else who has who are just running it directly on the video, they have all those views from the 30 second views and all that kind of stuff. But those people didn't necessarily click the ad. So you, that's why a lot of times you'll see, it might be, well, sometimes the stuff is, is bad too, whatever, but it might be 500,000 views and it might only be like 20 comments or five, you know, 20 likes or something like that. And it's low engagement. You're not gonna have that problem Hopefully, right, it's good enough for people to actually click it and you're targeting the right people who actually like it, if it's good enough to actually click it. So you'll you'll have better engagement ratios, engagement per view ratios. Yeah, I already have it planned out everything. I have a list of, I have a list of 50 links that are, I feel like are 100% my lane. So I feel like I did pretty well with that. Cool. Yeah, looking forward to hearing those, um, to those results. You'll... If, if if you got that um or those audiences selected right, you'll definitely have some good enga engagement ratios. It's the network. All right, so that's the clip. And just to get a little bit more specific or summarize for some of you who might not be understanding the issue, right? What this helps you do is because you are not getting all of the primary views on your main video that you're running an ad, you're getting it on an unlisted version or an alternate version. 
then the main video that you're trying to create engagement for only gets viewed from the ad standpoint from by the people who actually click through and those people are far more likely to engage with a like or a comment than people who are just watching through an ad because there are people who watch half of a music video a whole music video or any video for that matter without clicking through they might have enjoyed it consumed it and everything but you'll probably have to show them to them again and again or make them want to see it a different way before they actually go and watch it from a video standpoint i've watched plenty of ads myself probably i've watched like nine minute ads and never clicked through went right about what i was doing took notes and everything you want to make sure that you don't have all of those views racking up just because when even sometimes they're good and you're paying for them because they're quality but at the end of the day you're not getting that look so for that vanity sake and that social proof sake this method helps that again unlisted version of a video and then run it on the video now we talk about the all those types of things again in the brandmannetwork.com those conversations we can never make videos for everything because we don't know everything you're going through but we can help you through that but there's only a limited number of artists involved in the network so if you actually see this video afterwards you can check out check it out and get it on the wait list but brandmannetwork.com check us out this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself Hope you do the same. If you like this video, go ahead and the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. It's the network.